Well, a very good evening to you once again from Morton Conservative Club here in Winsford. My goodness, doesn't time fly? We uh, uh, this evening are hosting the uh, final, final evening of the Morton Cons Open Competition. The final eight, and uh, the final eight this evening, of course, are uh, Gary Ellis, as you can see now. And the camera view. Because Gary is playing uh, Matt Gilmore. Down the green there we've got uh, Tommy Johnson. Tommy Johnson's playing Callum Wright. And uh, heading on further down the uh, green towards the club. We've got uh, Dave O'Brien who's playing Ben Wilson. And uh, in the middle of the green here. It's James Grimston from Blackpool. It's playing Steve Copeland from Oldham. So there's your eight players. It's the 26th of August 2012 and uh, let's watch some bowling. Right, here's Dave O'Brien from Northwich of course. Plays for uh, Castle Private Club in Northwich. On to Graham Wilson. The games have only just begun so there should be an update on the scores uh, pretty soon here. And uh, let's just see where Graham Wilson goes here. To the left of me, of course, is uh, Callum Wright playing Tommy Johnson. Let's have a look at Tommy's ball here. Got something. And one to Callum. He uh, took one out to the end and saved one anyway. Lovely evening, very pleasant. Wasn't too promising a bit earlier today, but um, <coughs> the weather's decided to be kind to us. And uh, to be honest, it's uh, really a very, very pleasant uh, evening indeed here in Winsford. Okay, well, looking at uh, Dave O'Brien and uh, Graham Wilson, Dave's just bowled a yard through there, and Graham's pretty well followed him with his second ball. Just a touch short there, Graham with his first, so. See what improvement uh, Dave makes here with his second. Well, he's gone at the back. He's gone at the back. Oh, that's He's uh, just put a yard too much there. Gone at the back. Graham's having a good loop. Now nope, decides it's one to him. So, uh, let's have a look at. Uh, Ah, there we go. There's an update on the score. Tommy Johnson, five. Steve Copeland, three. Oh, what am I saying? James Grimston, <laughs> five. I'm watching Tommy. And, uh, there's James's ball. Uh, just uh, touch outside land. Only a bit, but it's enough. There's uh, Steve Copeland, second, good ball. Oh, that's a good ball there. Uh, good ball on that mark. Two good balls for James to uh, to beat there. Well, well, it looks short to me. Not going to get there. It's going to be two for Steve. It is. It is. Here we are. We'll pass you back. Oh, just uh, <laughs> come back and get the camera running again as uh, Tommy Johnson tries to stop one of Callum Wright's uh, strikes. Not a wise thing to do, Tommy. Not a wise thing to do. <laughs> I think Tom might just need a cup of tea and a couple of aspirins before he carries on. <coughs> He's looking a bit shot there. <laughs> Near me. It was going that fast, I couldn't get the camera around quick enough to uh, to catch that. And it hit the woodwork with the right bounce. Okay, here's Callum's first ball. Not looking too bad. No, not too bad. Tommy's let his ball go, so uh, we'll keep on the end here. Well, 
just slightly short. There's Cal in the second. Looking better actually, this first. Yeah, good belt. Good belt. Well, Tommy's having to think about this one. Gives his chin a scratch. I think he might just uh, have a go at those. There we go. Has he done it? Nope, misses two to Cal. Meanwhile, on the bottom of the green here, Dave O'Brien pulling it towards us. Just manages to go in against uh, Graham Wilson. Just, uh, hey, don't get us on video. <laughs> Graham moves uh, up to the end. As well as two kid, I think. Well, Dave, just a touch wide. Graham takes another one. A bit too much action going around this green to get the camera in all the places at once. with uh, some help really, Do with another three cameras around the green and then we can take everything in. Oh, green balls. A thin peg mark. Yep, good ball Graham. There's the house. Going in, just comes off the bank there. Johnston 5. So Callum's eight five in front of Tommy at the moment. I think Dave's just drifted past there, Dave O'Brien. As uh, Graham Wilson walks down to the end. The gentleman of course walks the other side of land, giving his opponent the opportunity to uh, play his bowl unobstructed. Well Dave's turned over. Seeing if we can get it the other way, it's looking good. Yep. Oh dear. That's made a difference to the end. Good ball. Two to Dave O'Brien. Good thinking. Thinking on his feet there was Dave O'Brien. Well, Callum, what's up here? He thought it was a good one. Don't run bad ones then. Wasted energy. Wait till he gets to my age. He won't run any in. <laughs> So Dave O'Brien 7-3 down at the present time. There's uh, Tommy Johnson. Takes two. Okay, let's have a look at one or two of the other games. Matty Gilmore bowling the All England champion guy I see. Up towards where I'm sitting here at the top end of the bowling green. Yeah, good ball. It's a great ball from uh, Matt there, just at the side of the jack. Well, Gary's not a mile off. Might go through here if he misses them. Yeah, through the gap. Well, you're looking paced again here. Eh? If you can get here, get on. No, nope. Matty left it short. Well, it's two. Still two, but uh, I think Graham can uh, Well, here it comes. There it comes. This can win. If it misses. Can't miss. Two down. Okay, we just uh, got to carry us in front of us, thinking about what to do here. Having a good look at this one. Just been joined by Tony Chesters. You've been playing Federation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, what happened there, Tony? Anything lost, interesting? 
you lost. We stayed up. All oh, right. Uh, okay. We, we won eight four at home. But, uh, what do you think? All right. Okay. Yeah. Man, you must have saved one there, Tony. He struck, but to. Uh, he was two down, I think. He's only one now, so. Good move. So, you're going to stay up then, in the Cheshire team? Yes, yes. Uh, step into the second, in the third division. And, yeah. uh, the first team have won the first division. Oh, wow. Well. And that's a bit of success. It's got to be good. Okay, Steve Copeland's uh, ball coming in now. This looks good. Yeah, good ball. Tommy Johnson signals too as well there. Against Callum. Extending it to see if it's two for James Johnston. That was only good loot. Very close. Very close. I have to say, you have to find a fair amount of luck yourself. James decides to walk and look at the end. Good final eight this evening, of course. So, uh, as you can see, some good close bowling. There's Matty Gilmore's ball. Just, dear me, swims through. Carry Ellis with that uh, very unusual delivery of his. Oh, it's coming for a second. Why well, has he made it? Hi, Dad. You alright? He had a, a two to one. Alice Matt is having a good look. Alice. Imagine it as well, please. Looks uh, 12 8 at the moment. Tommy Johnson and uh, Callum Wright. In favour of Tommy, it is. Well, what a good ball from Tom there. Just come round on the end there just to show you. There it is. There's Penny's ball coming in. So well, it's just a touch short. That's a good effort. Just behind the uh, James Winston there. Oh, that's Tommy second. Can't get it. Can't get it. He knows it. He knows it as well. Well, clean as a whistle. Absolutely lethal. He's gallant. He doesn't miss many. Grief, Tony. He's absolutely lethal. Yes, certainly one of the best strikers in the game, Callum yeah. Wright. He is, without a doubt. Across the green, diagonally across, side to side, bang. Clean as a whistle. Here's Gary, who, uh, so I'm told, won uh, competition at Stockport last night, the Grange. Worth a few bob that Tony, what do you think? Twelve hundred pound. He beat Dave Bowers wise from Liverpool twenty one thirteen. Right. Uh, so. in the quarter finals he scraped through twenty one twenty and this yep. is, uh, so that was the fifteenth handicap win of the season. Good guy. There is. Goodness me. Hi, me Tony. I hope they don't uh, get firing up towards us here. No, I don't want my camera in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. The speed of the things. <laughs> James Winston turns his back on that one. He's pulled it off the green. See if Colton is there. <laughs> no, that's never enough. Wilson 14, O'Brien 5. So, Graham Wilson opens up a gap now with uh, Dave O'Brien here. Eh? 
Oh, that's a good bow. Yeah, Takes it. Ball. That is a good bow. Oof, just misses that. Now Wilson just skims past. Is Dave going to go for two? I was going to keep the block in his end. Oh. He's certainly uh, trying for two here, Tony. Yeah, Oof. just short of the second ball. This one. I thought he was going to make it then. Just started pulling away, didn't it? Right yeah. at the end there. So, it's another one. And look how hard for him. Competitions like this, you've been in a few yourself, so you know everyone counts, Tony. Yeah, yeah, one of that. Again, can change, and that's it. Gilmore Nine. Gilmore Nine, Ellis Seven. Ah. Yeah, that's that. Gilmore. Time to give this a shot. Yeah. Give it no chance there, did he really? No. Two for Callum. Just saying, Tony, I could do them about four cameras around the green. <laughs> cover the old green, you just can't cover all the games, can you? No. Just got to go back, back and do between games. Fifteen, Grimston six. Fifteen six up now. Steve Copeland, James Grimston. Oh, Tom didn't seem to like that, but it doesn't look a bad ball to me. Yeah, too far out. Yeah, Tony, dip him early. Yep. Oh, come is it the back ball? Want to come? Great, Johnston, twelve across. And there's an update on uh, Tommy Johnston and Callum Wright, twelve across. After that end, some good cross ball in here tonight, Tony. Yeah. Look at this end here. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a great ball there from James Gunston. It's a quality of bowling with these lads. That's why they're in the final. Well, Dave O'Brien gets two. His hands go up. The fat boy from Manchester. It's how he describes himself, Tony. Uh, had a success of yesterday, beating Holdsworth in the semi final of the Norman Cup, Castle did. Oh, yeah, Castle Private, yeah, they did, yeah. Beating me 30. That's right, yeah. yeah. So he takes it an Old Mid Cheshire final. Yeah, that's right. An Old Mid Cheshire final, that's what we like to hear. Local teams doing well. Whoever they are. Hmm? Oh, this car right coming up the green. Oh, it's this one. Sorry. Well, it's not bad. I'm just gonna bear yard through. Tommy will try and beat that. Yeah, don't can go through here. Yeah. And does. Yeah, we did. Callum says it's the easiest mark on the green, but I don't always count with it, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I can't even remember ever counting there. <laughs> he must know something I don't.
Let's see you on the right. I don't know what's happened. Okay. And Gary's. What's he doing? Yeah, looks, looks too far for me. Mind you, it is your ball. 2 2 Matt Gilmore. A bit unlucky there, Gary. Thomas Shaw with that. Here's Callum second. Turn the other way. Ooh, just sneaks past it. About. I think Tommy might just uh, play a yard through it. Oh, he's at his own ball. Two to Callum. Okay, we enjoy the game now. Well, I have been there. Came against him there with uh, Steve Coburn. Well, James about a yard short with that one. Let's see if uh, Steve can beat it. No, I can't. can't remember. Yeah. Across the room. Well, he's gone through a bit further, I think. There's uh, James in second. Yeah, I think he's there. Nowhere near. Well, Steve Copeland should make this count. Yeah, I'm probably going to guess. Yeah, I don't think he's got past it. Already, just. Yeah, just got past it. Yeah, I'm probably going to guess. Yeah, I'm probably going to guess. Just like, uh, yeah, just by name. Let's pick up on uh, Tommy Johnson and uh, Callaway too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's left it short now. He had enough short there. Tommy, his talent is much better pace. Yeah, 12 inches at the side. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. It's a good ball. That's a good ball. Look, he's going to have a go there, come on. Here we go again. Misses. One to Tommy. Four. Open 28. Youngston 16. 28-16 up now. It's uh, Steve Copeland. There's Graham Wilson. Two balls on the green here in front of us. There's Dave uh, O'Brien's box. Well, he's going to go off with a miss. He's going to go off. Two to Graham Wilson. Well, the old credit to Dave, he was at least up and give it a chance. Pointless ball in the short ball there. Oh dear. Tommy Johnson's ball the block off here. Just going to come round to them, see what they're up to, and uh, he's balled right across to the car park gate end of the green. And balls his block off. Meanwhile, Graham Wilson's set his block from peg now to the middle of the green. This is ball. Leaves it short. The yard short. There's Dave's. Dave O'Brien. Well, it's past it. It's just, no it isn't. 
Look at the message of them past it just. Where else has this put the yard in? Yeah. Good well, you get punished with them, don't you? One or two, Graham. I bet you took 30 to get your 10 seconds. Oh, lucky there. Gilmore 16. Gary Alice 21. Not Gilmore 16. Lucky there, O'Brien there. Still come out of it. On the wrong side, although he made the right ball. Oh, he didn't. We won it. Goodness me. I thought he'd uh, knock the, uh, the jack to Graham's, but he didn't. Not a good ball then, David. Right, Carol Graham's lead ball. Well, it's too good. That's a bit wide. Good plan. Graham yeah. Wilson's tied to my father. Good ball. What a good lead ball. Johnson 23, Ray 20. So Tommy Johnson up on Cannon. 23 20. Well, he's been known to the blue Never seen it hard. Quite a few people uh, here this evening, as you can see. Wilson 30, O'Brien 14. So Graham Wilson took two there. Third book now. This game with uh, Dave O'Brien from Northwich. Kirkland 30, Grimston 19. Oh, yeah, that's a good lead ball, that is. Well, Dave's let his go, so we'll stay down there then. There he goes at the back. Yeah, second coming out, so he's rolled it again. Yeah, it's not a bad ball, that. It's lying behind the jack. And there's Dave O'Brien's, what could be his final ball. Looks short to me. It's tight as well. Yeah, tight as well. Yeah, that's the game. So there's the first game off the green. Graham Wilson. Reserve to Graham, Graham Wilson 31, Dave O'Brien 14. So he wins 14. Graham Wilson into the next round. The Gillen Nuggets 2 here with uh, Gary Ellis. <laughs> James Grimson's ball coming up towards us now. At the top end of the green. Level ball. Two foot six to the side of the jack. Steve Copeland tighter. Could win. Does win. Good ball. Hey James, you tighter. It's got a chance, Tony, that is. Yeah. It's got a chance. It's got a pick up, go out. Just goes out at the back. Game that is. Yeah. Copeland wins. Copeland wins. That's another game off the green. Steve Copeland. James Grimston. Result of game. Steve Copeland 31. James Grimston 20. So game 20. So Graham Wilson. Steve Copeland into the next round. Right. Let's continue watching the other two games here. Tommy Johnson and Callum Wright. Gary Ellis 
Matt Gilmore. Yeah, yeah, I'll you sets his block up by the, uh, the bowling hut here. What a good bowl. Good grace. Incredible. <laughs> well, that girl with this ball just slips by. Guys waiting for Tommy Johnston to bowl. Tommy balls. Gary with that unusual shuffle of his. Well, not too bad, Tony, that one. No, much too. <coughs> yep. And that space is alright. Where's his land? Just net. Oh dear. That was a good effort, that was. Very good effort. Oh, goodness me. Thank uh, you, Roger Kadir there. Uh, another, uh, another case of shock there for Tommy Johnson. This camera strikes like an exocet missile flying across the green. <laughs> Things back memories of the Gulf War, Tony. One of those exocet missiles used to go down the high street and blow. Baghdad post office up. I you thought know. Uh, Norman <laughs> Fletcher stuck the hardest. Yeah. Well, that took some beating. Oh yeah, it certainly did. I, I just can't put the camera on it because you can't move the camera fast enough to follow it. Alice is just throw the front touching again. Yeah, yeah. It's a good ball for Matty that is, you know, I'm not winning. We'll go down and have a look at that in a second or two. Here's the guy's second. Fantastic ends, Tony, when you think. Look at that. That's incredible. Wonder why, is that why he's the All England champion, do you think? It's got something to do with it. <laughs> Definitely. Two to Gary Ellis. Goodness me. When you think that Matty Gilmore's done nothing wrong there at all. Matt Gilmore's bowled two bowls at a grey sunny ball in green and he ends up two down. Ellis 26. Gilmore 18. 26-18 now. Gary Ellis. Stuart Ray 25 across. Well there we go. Hope you heard that there. Stuart Bailey. The uh, organiser of the competition here at Walton Cons. 25 across. Callum's lead ball. <laughs> ball is short there. There's Tommy's reply. Tommy, that's a good ball. Here we are, through with a miss. It's a good ball now. There's Callum's. <laughs> well, it's gone the other way, but it's gone too far, I think, has he? Well, it's just punched his own ball. Yeah. There's a good ball. I might be thinking Tommy can get two out of this. Definitely, without question. Can I kick some in? Two for him. How is he now? Goodness me. Could be still down. This, sir. Uh, Game over here to the left with Gary Allison at Gilmore. Camera was on uh, Callum and Tommy there as uh, Matt, Matt's ball come up and hit the end. And well, what a fantastic ball, Tony. 
Yes, a real reachy there. Yep, good bowl that was. Here's Tommy, Tommy Johnson, of course. Well, then the fast bowl of the green, playing yep. off. It's a good bowl. Seven inches away. Oh dear. A bit closer than that now. It is now. <laughs> well, there's Colin. He's on the road. He's on the road here. Oh my goodness. Takes it. Good to grief. Phew. Yeah, really, what bowling, eh? Top class, Tony. Absolute That's top class. The top, top yeah. Players in the country. Yeah. Absolute incredible bowling, that is. And the television don't show it. I can't wait. Oh, it's incredible. They don't show it. It's brilliant bowling. <laughs> Wish I had won that 142 million euro money, mm. Tony. Would have had more than Cons TV. Who <laughs> 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 would? Yeah, Tommy misses. We would, we'd have had a bit of a bowling on the TV then. I'd have invested a few bob in that. Oh, will show up in a second, can I? was just to do this flat thing, looking at the head. Really? Right, there's Callum bowling. Thumping that. Where is it? No fear. It's gone nowhere. Straight back. No, oh, he leaves. Uh, he leaves Tommy room there. Well, Tommy goes through, just that yard. Can him second. Well, that looks a bit strange. No, that does. He's got a bit of the block, oh, sort of the yeah. Okay. Yeah, made two now. <coughs> He's having a good look, Tony. Mm. One, two, Gilmore. Yeah. Along the edge. Another one to Gilmore. Come on. Well, they're tinkering about there, Tony and Callum. We'll go have a look at this end. That Gilmore goes. His finger peg, he had an half off the edge of the green. Looks a bit far for me. Yeah, it's gone through there. Drops off there. Yeah. Look, you stop on that, Tony, actually, that. Yeah, he usually pegs a bit, but it's, uh, must be a bit lonely low. Yep. Well, now he's turned it. over. Yep. He's turned over, now he says. He is. Still room there, Tony. Got a win. Yeah. Well, Alice's big guns come out. Yeah. I think you play through. Yeah. There he is. There we go. Misses. First time he's missed tonight. Another one to that. You know what that score is? We should be here in soon. I think it's about 26, 23. 26, 23, yeah, about that. Yeah. Okay. Measuring on the other end, by the way, there in the middle again. So we'll stay with Matt Gilmore and Gary Ellis. It's good pace by Gilmore. Yeah. Good ball. Too far, too far, yeah. What a game, Tony. What a game, 27 across. Coming into the hole. Yeah, yeah. I thought we'll switch the camera around to him as soon as they're bowling up towards us. 
Makes it easier for me. Luke's short, right? Yes, he is short. Yep, Callum's yard and a half short there. I bet Tommy isn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's not here, is it? Sure. Get there. <laughs> Six inches short, Callum. Size ten's behind. Size twenty-six. Size thirteen. How'd it go? A lot of vibration. <laughs> a lot of vibration. You've got the camera in Oh yeah. The nearest is the other. Yeah. That's an intercanner. They're good runners those, eh? I didn't think it was going to make it, Tony, but they're good runners, aren't they? Turned over again. Does he? Let's go across and have a look then. The old mother's about a yard through. Who's too far with this? Yeah. He is. Well, left himself open to two down here. I think uh, Gary will let that go by, will he? No. Two to Gary Ellis. 28. 28, huh? Just all oh, fell over there, Callum Rice. Yeah. Is he now, eh? Yeah, he's played underneath, hasn't he? It's underneath to me, Tony. Yeah. One to Tommy. Here's Gary Ellis. Let's have a look to see what, uh, how the ball's finished. 12 inches short. There's Matt's ball too far, too far up and too far, Tony. Well, that's another good ball there from Gary Ellis. Maybe over. Yes. Oh, he's saved one. Matt Gilmore saves one. <laughs> Come on, Wilson. We're happy soon with his family. Plays on the green again there. Father. Father. Chance. Well, back in two. We like, uh, like tennis, this is Tony, isn't it? Yeah. Back in two between the games. That's the best way people should be. Yeah. Come and have a look. Have a look yourself, yeah. Because there's no, no excuse if you're down. No. That's right. <laughs> There's a commentator's eye for you, Tony. The man at the bench there says, get another. So he's no doubts about his. So. What do you think, Scannel's on? Turned his bed. Sure, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, oh, this will decide. This will tell us who's on, Tony. 
not allowed. I'm not allowed. Oh, not allowed. Oh, not allowed. Oh, not allowed. Coming right. Yep. Yeah. We want to come. We should be getting an announcement. 29, Johnston 28. 29, 28. Good game to win, Tony, that. Yeah. Definitely. As uh, Matt Gilmore pulls up towards us, so we'll switch the camera. Don't change who he is. No, he isn't. That's a good ball. Looked at first as if it was going to go through, didn't he? But pulled up quickly. Oh, he's on the road. He's on the road. Give up. Oof. Just give some up. Yeah. Goodness me. Incredible how uh, they can be so accurate, Tony. Yeah, well, this one is right, Luke's bloody vivid one. Yeah. He's on the block. Yeah, he's Two for the game. Get on. Oh, Close. Yeah, it's only one. Close ball then. Yep, yeah, there is. This is when Ellis comes I mean, up and plays the uh, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flat green way. Yeah. Looks well, calculated bowling. Yeah. You know, when uh, Callum Lee uh, lies up with them two. Right, okay, well, I'll look at this thing. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it is on ball, Tommy. Yeah. 2118. 2118, okay. Uh, 3118, yeah. Is there a game? Callum Wright, 31, Tommy Johnston, 28. 28. 31, 28. Confusion. Confusion reigns. Good game. It was a good game. Right, let's have a look what uh, Gary Ellis has decided to do. And he's bowling up at it. Is he playing to touch his own in? It looks like it to me. No, not enough. I don't think he's done enough, quite enough. He certainly made a great effort though there, Tony. That was a, yeah. that was a good... Uh, any lower, no. Well. No, that's true. Yeah. Matt uh, puts another one on the card. He's coming right, goes back for a sit down. Delighted it is uh, victory. That's <laughs> a joke with his poles. Well, that's decided to pull a finger peg back. Go towards the double doors. I don't think that will come back. In fact, I'm certain it won't come back. I didn't think it would. I've played that mark a few times myself and it's a bit unforgiving. Very unforgiving. Okay. Very yard short. Well, Matt seems to like this one. If he can miss Gary's bowl, he's going to miss it. Which he has done. He's got a good length of bowl now. Come on, Gary. Can you miss your own bowl? Can you miss it? He does. If you can set that, oh, it goes through the gap. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. The game stands at the moment at 29-26 in favour of Gary. So, uh, Ellis 29, Gilmore 26. Lucky there was, was Gary. In fact, it's incredible how you can go through these gaps. And that decides to come back back up towards us here. Roughly a yard from the edge of the green and you don't go too far past it. Right 
Well, it was a good ball at one time. He goes a better pace. That's a good ball. Oh, no. I'll never come back, mate. I'll never come back. In a hundred years, he's off the green. It's game. It's all over. It's all over. Back up. Mark that. And he missed it by about an inch around down here. 26. Yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed the first games here at Walton Conservative Club. And uh, we've now got a four to go into the semi final. So, uh, join you a bit, uh, a bit later, in a few minutes, and uh, we'll continue our look at the Walton Cons Open final 2012. Well, as you can see, we've had a good crowd here this evening at the uh, Walk Conservative Club for this final 2012 Walk Cons Open final and uh, a few minutes ago um, I was uh, talking to Tony Chesters who was just helping me to uh, go through one or two of the ends here with the games and just having a look around the people here this evening and uh, I've just been joined by Paul Wally who's the head coach here at Walton Conservative Club whoever's bowled here owes whatever they've got whatever they've won whoever they've beat to Paul Wally he's the head coach and he does occasionally clean bottles as well and do the washing up uh, what do you think, Coach? About well, the bowling tonight, the good, standard yeah. of bowling. Good evening, Barry. Oh, uh, Barry, just before we go on, here, here's, here's Andy Orton. Is it Andy? Andy? It is Andy, yes. Oh, yeah, he's in Mauve tonight, yes. I've noticed. Yeah, but the pink jumper got pinched off yeah. the washing line, Paul. He, he just reminds me of a slightly underripe plum. He uh, does. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's gone to sit with his mate. Oh, now well, we've got the full complement of the, the Muppet show. Red Dead? Absolutely, yeah. Right. Um, getting back to the bowling, yeah. Um, yeah, talking about the coaching. Um, the standard of bowling tonight. Excellent. But I'd just like to mention Mark Burden, who uh, I've oh, taken yeah. on into my stable this year. Excellent and lad. I'm sure Mark would be the first to admit that he didn't expect a Brunner Cup winner's medal. No. But having had a few sessions with me, yeah. I, was, I was pleased that he was able to, uh, to achieve a Brunner Cup winner's medal. Well, so, well, that's what we all strive to achieve, so, Paul. So it's good. Yeah, so I've had a good year really, right. and uh, there is a bit. Of, there are a few vacancies if anybody wants to right. get in touch with me. They know where to find me. Right, right. Well, I noticed Sandy Orton's come on in leaps and bounds since he's been coming here in the evenings with you. Absolutely. You know his game has improved and. It has. So his temperament's improved as well. That's right. I yeah, notice he, when he gets beat now, he doesn't go straight home. No, he's still he's still very obnoxious, but it, uh, right. that's an improvement on how he, what he was. used to be. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I've noticed that uh, you know he does stay a bit longer now. That's right. But yeah, uh, yeah. the situation with Ted Payne for his drink hasn't changed, though. I noticed no, no, he hasn't no, got that right well, yet. Well, it has changed. It and has. has gone even more expensive. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, oh and, and, and uh, Ted buys the chips as well on a Sunday. He does. So, Goodness me. Um, well, yeah. I don't know. Never mind. I mean, it's you know, it's all going forward, Paul. Absolutely. It's all going forward. It looks as if the first team are going to win the Mid Cheshire League again. Yeah. Down yeah. to you. Well, uh, in part. Um, I can't take. Norley all League. They could well win that as well. Yeah, I can't take all the credit, obviously. Just 95 percent. So, uh, I've never sent a bowl for them in my life, but uh, yeah, but it's not it's, it's not on the green. You do it, right. Paul. No. It's not on the green. It's off the green. It's psychological. Thanks very much. I've heard people say that about you. Thanks very much. That you're very psychological. You know, but then again, I mean, have you found that since you've been having these new tablets that you've been feeling better, Paul? Much better. Yeah. Much better. I've noticed your behaviour's better on the green. Watching you on Thursday evening play. You, yeah. uh, you, you actually won a game incidentally. I did, I did. And you know. what, one, thing, one thing that always happens, you can't avoid the cream rising to the top, Barry. Right. Well, I noticed that um, 
Um, just in case you didn't know how your game was going, apparently what people say is that your bowling bag's always by the school road gate, and that you always bowl your last end towards the school road gate, as soon as somebody shouts, right, that's it, game up, you go home just in case you've lost. Is there any truth in this? Now, Barry, you know better than that. Oh, there's Callum now coming over, getting ready for... Yeah, I thought he was bringing you a drink then, no, Paul. No, no. You haven't been coaching Callum no, as well, have you? No, no, oh, right, right, right. There are some people right. I can't help. Oh, right, right, OK. Mm. All right, anyway, Paul. It's well, a pleasure as yeah. always to and, uh, have five minutes with you. Yeah, and I'll enjoy the... Uh, Enjoy the rest of the final and all the best to all the uh, the Mid-Cheshire bowlers. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, I, I, all I can say on behalf of um, myself and all the players at Walton Cons here, thanks very much for uh, all the help you've given us and, you know, I, I mean, I wouldn't be where I am, Paul. I'm 19.12 in the averages and like 18 of them are down to you so thanks very much for that it's a pleasure pleasure for right. Harry yeah it's been a great year and I've thoroughly enjoyed all the coaching and the pleasure I've given to people okay right well we'll get down to watch the bowling now and of course we look forward to uh, you know the remainder of the season yeah thanks Paul